let's talk about this quickly so i've made i've made um i've made a couple you know comments and whatever it may be about the dj scene or no about dance music overall and about some djs because i'm a fan of it and i feel like on podcasts in general you should be trying to speak about things that you know about because that's what i think makes for a brilliant podcast i think so someone gets in front of a microphone or a camera and starts talking about stuff they don't know nothing about it usually turns into pretty shitty content pretty quickly and if i'm gonna sit here and be rambling into a microphone for hours on end i probably should know what i'm talking about and you know i feel like i have some decent insights and knowledges about dance music and whatnot so i just share them it's it right it's not really that deep really it is what it is but I have noticed, um, depending on who it is I speak about, there's a tendency to either go the other, like one way of like, oh my God, thank you for mentioning me, all this sort of stuff. Or the other way to get really angry about it and start sending threatening messages and shit and just being upset. And I don't really understand what that's about. Like, and I think it kind of exists in stand up also. So that's where the correlation comes in. And I want to make this comment. I wonder if there is a point, I think I'm going to try it, I'm actually going to trial it, and I maybe will upload it on my Patreon, just to make the Patreon flipping worthwhile, because my Patreon is fucking barren, so I'm probably going to upload it on the Patreon, I'm wondering, in the future, if I can try to critically review comedy stand-up specials, and DJ mixes, live streams, or what mixes they just released on the labels, whatever it may be, I may do that, because I feel like, for some reason, even though there's a, a huge group of people out there who enjoy this stuff, who listen to it, I feel like for some reason, the artists who create this stuff, the DJs or the comedians who do this stuff, they don't necessarily anticipate people watching that and think, watching their material and thinking, oh, this could have been improved. I didn't like that. I did like this. I didn't like that. Because when you do comment on it, they get really, really annoyed. They get their niggas in the twist super hard and... And, you know, I would like to count myself as a creative person. When I do my work, I just put it out there and it just lives in its own, on its own accord. I have no control over how it's interpreted, how people respond to it. It just is what it is. And to be honest, it's not really important what anyone thinks of it. Because the moment I'm able to get it out of my brain and onto a piece of paper, onto a stream, onto a blog, onto a sound, whatever it may be, that's my job done as a sort of like creative conduit. Then you just put it out into the masses and hope the masses like it or don't. But you kind of got your expression out there. But for some of these guys and girls, they get really butt hurt if you make any comment that isn't like praise, that isn't you getting on your knees and sucking them off. It just turns into like, I hate you, you're a hater. Uh, send you this message I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm angry about this delete that like just weirdness I don't understand it and maybe it's an ego thing because I do maintain the you know the only biggest e the only bigger ego than a DJ and a flipping stand up comedian is probably a podcaster I know I'm, I obviously occupied two of those categories Uche you know flipping reminded me of that once before but I honestly do think maybe those two you know areas are probably unique because of the egos involved but fucking hell man honestly some of these people like i'm a i'm a peon i'm a peon some of these clips i'm uploading on my channel get like hundreds of views maybe sometimes in the double digits of views sometimes thousands but i'm literally speaking into fucking deep space no one's paying attention to me i'm small potatoes right i'm tiny chips i'm the chips that you get at kfc in that little small bag not the mcdonald's chips in the nice box right i'm the little kfc chips that's what i am in the little paper bag the small ones Sometimes you might get little three five sticks in there why does it matter if i get on here and say hey your mix was shit hey i went to see you perform at this dj thing or at this club and i didn't like it it was dead it made me bored it made me bored or i watched your stand-up special and it was terrible to me i'm i'm a small guy who cares what I have to say? But somehow they get butt hurt. And again, if you're an artist and you're and you're getting paid and you're touring the world and you get opportunity to kind of do a job that many people out there would love to do, but it's it's kind of the most. I think probably stand up and DJing is probably two of the most heavily com heavily congested area to try and make it. 
There is no blueprint. There is no direct route. There is no steps. There is no, nothing. It's all kind of a wayward way to kind of make it. And everyone makes it in their own time. Some people would never make it. You get a chance to make it. You're touring. You're doing amazing. You get paid to book play, play places. Why are you bothered? Why I have to say? Why? Why? Please tell me why. It's really odd. I don't understand this. It's so bizarre. Maybe I don't understand because I'm not at their level. And maybe if you had the you know, interactions that they do, you'd understand how difficult it is and how stress it causes. All right, whatever. Maybe that's true. But I honestly think I put out enough shit on my own in, of across all different mediums, whether it comes from photography to art to flipping writing to whatever. I've done it all, right? Maybe it hasn't been successful, whatever it may be, but I've done it all. I've received my fair share of positive and negative comments. And it really doesn't matter. If you're actually a true, somewhat creative, sounds corny, but you get what I mean. You just put it out there. The fact that, that your job is just putting it out there. How it's received is not your in your control, but you just put it out there because that's what you're kind of called to do. You put the work out there. If people like it, they like it. If they don't, okay, cool. You just move on to the next. But this whole like, oh, why did you say that? Why did you say that? How dare you? Delete it. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. No, I will not delete it. I don't care what you have to say. I don't. I like that. I didn't like that. Who cares? Who cares? Put something else out that I like. I may like it. I may not. But who cares? You have fucking thousands of people following you all over the fucking country, loving what you're doing. Why does it matter what I fucking say? Come on. I'm sat here sweating. It's not hot in front of fucking Ikea furniture, shouting into a fucking USB microphone. Why should it matter what I fucking say? Wearing fucking Amazon five dollar amazon flipping glasses and here you are getting annoyed about what i have to say who am i for fuck's sake who the fuck am i god almighty grow up you know who you are grow up man grow up exactly it don't matter we do not matter grow up <sighs> anyways <laughs> anyways moving on <laughs> oh lot just just like these guys are legitimately one percenters legit one percenters especially djs you're you're mostly all overpaid you're mostly all overpaid we all especially in a metropolitan city in a metropolitan city if you're within the ages of like 25 to 45 you probably know at least five djs yourself who are better than djs who play in these professional clubs five we all know we all have friends you know some guy here some girl there who are good who are great we know them are they playing professionally no they're not they work at some dead-end job they can't get any play or any bookings anywhere they're hating life but it is what it is the cookie didn't crumble in their favor these people have the privilege of being paid to play in clubs playing other people's music some of them don't even mix well technically they're shit at what they do they just get paid to play whatever tune they liked on the road and play in a fucking nightclub. And they get they also get the benefit, which people like me don't, that I'm playing in these bars and clubs where I'm basically a human flipping jukebox. They get the benefit of playing in nightclubs where people are high on drugs, drinking and shit. They don't care what you play. They let you play whatever the fuck you want. You can go in there and go crazy and be creative and be artistic and have an extended set and do what you want. It's fucking fun. Whereas here I am fucking playing Umbrella by Rihanna in 2023 because somebody asked for it and I have to deliver because guess what? I'm in a service industry. That's what I am. I'm a service industry DJ. And these guys, they get to play in these amazing places. It's, they get flown there. They get Uber X there. They have somebody carrying their luggage. Somebody plugging their USB into the CDJ. Somebody taking the headphones and putting it on their heads, right? Somebody jacking them off to under the desk as they're DJing, probably. And still they complain and they cry. When little old me, little old tiny me, sat in front of Ikea furniture, right? Little old me, with dusty books, sat in front of Ikea furniture, they get annoyed. Why did you say that? Why did you say that? That was mean. Shut up, man. 
Shut the fuck up. Grow up. Suck it up. God almighty. So annoying. Delete that. Delete your fucking life. Open the window and step out of it. That's what you should do. Delete that. Delete that. Open the window and step out of it. Do that. Delete the video. How dare you? Anyway. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Honestly, man. I'm playing Umbrella. I'm playing I'm playing fucking single ladies by Destiny's Child. Like I know these tunes off by heart. I'm playing Hey Ya by fucking Outcast. I'm having to play these tunes in 2023 to DJ to get my little 150 pound that I have to invoice for. I have to invoice for 150. <laughs> I have to wait six weeks to get paid 150 <laughs> to invoice at a bar that I'm DJing at. And I'm having the greatest time because I get to mix some stuff that I don't like, play some stuff that I do like, but at least I get to play in front of people. And I have to invoice for £150. These guys get paid tens of thousands. They get flown there. Hotel stays, groupies, all this stuff. And they get annoyed when I have a comment to make. And it's not even harsh. I'm not even being rude. I'm usually always nice. Oh, why did you say that? Shut up. Grow up. Fucking hell. Hate you, man. <laughs> no, it's not cash. It's that glass. It, I wish it was cash. Some of these places, I have to invoice for £150. Don't get me wrong. I started off playing for 50 So it goes up. So I'm sure when I eventually get to like fucking tens of thousands, I'll be like, ah, oh, I should have wired it to me. But fucking hell. 150 A bar can't take that out of petty cash. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these places they give you like a two drink tokens they want you to pay for four hours they pay you 150 via invoice and they give you two drink tokens <laughs> so you have to pay for your drinks of the day pay for your transport pay for your own food and then you get the money six weeks later <laughs> Oh, I can't believe they complain, honestly. Life down here, life where I'm at is different. I have to carry my own bags. Yeah, big up Chris, brother. Big up, big up. Funds for some mug boots and I can't <laughs> Big up Chris, brother. Appreciate you for the five-year super chat. Appreciate you. Honestly, man. Wow. I can't believe these people complain. I really can't believe they complain. I honestly can't believe they complain. The life... And that's the thing that always gets me because I feel like... I feel like most DJs or most comedians, right? We all start at the same place. Everyone has to play at like an empty bar. Everyone has to play at like an empty comedy club. You have to do an open mic. You have to go and do open decks. You have to put a SoundCloud mix up and get 10 listens, maybe get zero. And then eventually, you know, you do a live stream, you get 10 views. But then eventually, over time, through productions, through collaborations, through whatever, you, it goes up. Over time, right? The views go up and shit. But you have to start from somewhere. Like, I've, you know, I played at fucking art gallery events, like private views. I'm there in the corner DJing. Like, what the fuck's a DJ doing there? But I did it. You're there fucking in barbecues. You're there at house parties where there's like one speaker facing your face. Like, it's crazy. Done it all. But we've, we've all done it. It's not unique to me. So that's why I can't understand where these guys, they get to the heights where they're at and then they forget what it's actually like where they come from. And they start getting annoyed and frustrated that somebody may have a different point of view of how they did a certain thing. Or might say, hey, I didn't like the set. Or I didn't like the EP. Or this wasn't that great. Whatever. Just an opinion, a point of view. And imagine, this is one person, me. If you put on a party, most places, minimum capacity is what? 250 people. So 250 people paid hard-earned money minus all the guests and the fucking VIPs, to come to your event. They loved it. They enjoyed it. One person, me, one guy, comes back and does a video and says, oh, you know, that party wasn't the greatest. I didn't like this one. Like and then you're getting annoyed. You had 249 patrons that were there, that were happy. And one person says something bad and you're annoyed. Big up, Goku. 
Big up, big up, big up, Goku. No message, but I appreciate you, brother. Come on, man. I don't know. 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 Personally, I think maybe because I grew up on the internet. I grew up on forums and stuff. I, you know, I have, I, I've been on social media since fucking social media started. I'm so, I'm, it's not even thick skin. I'm beyond like being offended. Nothing offends me. I don't care. I put out what I put out. You like it, you don't like it. Cool, whatever. I just keep it going. I don't take it personally. It is what it is. But some of these people, they operate in the social media realm. It's all about the image and shit and the fucking posing. But if you say the pose is shit, <laughs> and I hit you block. Fuck you. <laughs> it's the internet. It's the internet. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. I had enough. I'm getting hot and bothered and stuff, and I'm ranting and I'm not making sense.